Hello everyone, um, my name is Gemma, also known as The Daily Thread, and I'm here with my first YouTube video ever. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd give it a go basically, so we'll see how it goes. Um, if I appear a little bit nervous, it's because I am, um, so I hope you'll forgive me today. Um, but I just thought I would do a little introductory vlog um, just to tell you a bit more about me, my sewing journey so far. Um, yeah, and maybe what I'm wearing and what I'm working on. So um, I am wearing the uh, Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha tee in um, a bamboo jersey from Fabric Romance, which is a company over in Ireland. I couldn't resist this cobalt blue colour um, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Um, my background is, you know, I've always been into craft um, ever since I was a kid. Um, I've done lots of different crafts from um, weaving to block printing to pom-pom making. And my sewing background was more on a craft uh, basis really like making tote bags and um, bunting that sort of thing but after I'd had my son in 2018 I decided that I did really want to try and make a garment um, I'd put it off for a while because um, I thought I couldn't do it it looked really complicated but um, I tried the Tilly and the Buttons Cleo pinafore as a lot of people do when they first start and actually it went really well. Um, the finish was good, my sewing was all right, but unfortunately um, it was a size too small, so <laughs> I couldn't wear it. Um, but you know, that taught me a valuable lesson and not to sort of make something in the size you think you are or um, that high street clothes tell you you are. You should really measure yourself every time and go with the size you know on the pattern so it was a good learning point even if it didn't fit um so yeah after that i just sort of threw myself into it um and i've definitely improved as time's gone on but as they say practice makes perfect so yeah i just love it i'm obsessed <laughs> and my fabric stash will probably tell you that as well <laughs> Um, but I'm currently working on um, a Helen's Closet Gilbert shirt. I've made one of these before and I love it. And I'm doing the little tie um, front again. And this is in a rifle paper company um, cotton with like an orange and lemon print on it. Um, so I'm hoping that will turn out really nice. Um, I thought I'd show you um, a couple of fabrics that I've uh, acquired recently. A couple of them I've bought and one was gifted to me for a blog. Um, I'm part of the Minerva blogger team and um, I requested this fuchsia pink um, viscose poplin, I think they called it. And I'm planning to make a Donny shirt by Friday Pattern Company. I've not made it yet, but I've seen lots of lovely versions and it doesn't look too difficult. So hopefully that'll be really nice. And I've just made a pair of um, Portobello trousers by Nina Lee in like a bright emerald green. And I'm hoping this will go really nice with them. Um, back in April, I won a voucher for um, Bornello Fabrics. Um, via the Selfless Sew competition um, and I chose this beautiful tensel denim so it's kind of like a chambray weight um, but really drapey and I was planning to make the saguaro set by Friday Pattern Company but now I'm not sure <laughs> I've got enough to do trousers and a, a top or shorts and a, a shirt that sort of thing but any other suggestions would be gratefully received. Um, I thought I could do another pair of Portobello trousers, which would be really useful. But I don't know if they look too smart. I don't know. <laughs> I do love them, so it is a possibility. 
And the last one is um, a ribbed jersey, a cotton jersey that I got from Fabric Godmother. Um, I got a pink um, version as well that isn't such a wide rib. And the plan is to make a couple of Zoe tanks with this. I just think that'll be a really nice staple in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got coming up. And I hope you've enjoyed that little introduction and I hope it didn't come across um, too nervy or anything like that. I hope to be back again soon um, with another update and I will, I'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye bye.